Hi, this is Rosie from Rosie Art, and I would like to show you the instrument that I use to measure tension on my Erlbacher Gearheart Circular Sock Knitting Machine. It is a 4 inch digital caliper. I purchased it at Harbor Freight. It's made by Pittsburgh, and it's item number 47256, and it was $15.99. Now, this actually will take three different measurements for you, and we'll go ahead and explain those in a minute. I'm going to show you how to use this first, and once I'm done, we'll go over to the machine, and then I will show you how I use it to measure my tension. It has an on-off switch right here, but it will actually turn itself on once you start to move this. It will take a measurement in either metric or inches, and you would just depress this button right here to toggle between the two measurements. It has a zero out button, but you're really not going to be using that very much. And then once you get your measurement, if you wanted to hold that measurement, there's a little screw up here that you can turn, and it will prevent that from moving. Now, as to the measurements. As I said, it takes three different types of measurements. This side takes an external measurement. This side takes an internal measurement. So from point to point would be your internal measurement. And it's also a depth micrometer as it has a little pin that comes out so that you can measure the depth of something. Now I'm going to show you with a little canister that I have here how it would do all three of those things. So here's my little canister, and I'm going to take my micrometer, and I'm going to move it out, and then I'm going to put it on top of the canister, and I'm going to press the sides together, and when I do that, lock it in place, gives me a measurement. So my canister is 2.463 inches. Okay, now we'll take the internal measurement. I place it inside the canister, and I pull it apart, lock it in place, and my internal measurement is 2.214 inches. Now to take the depth of the canister, I'm going to place the edge of the caliper right here on the rim of the canister, and as I push, that pin will come out, and I push until the pin hits the bottom of the canister. And I have a measurement of 1.972 inches. So now that we know how to use this, let's go over to the machine and see how we measure our tension there. Before I show you how to measure with the micrometer, I just want to give you a basic lesson on how this system works here. You have this cam nut right here, you have your cam and a spring, and when you turn this in a certain direction, it either compresses the spring or releases the spring, which makes the cam move up and down. Okay? So, if I turn this clockwise, I'm making the cam move down. And what that's doing is it is actually making the stitch longer. So the distance between here and here is the stitch length. And that is giving me looser tension because I'm creating a longer stitch. If I turn counterclockwise, every quarter of a turn, the cam moves up a little bit. Okay. And what that is doing is it is creating a shorter stitch, which is going to give me tighter tension. So counterclockwise is tighter, clockwise is looser. So now let's go ahead and I'll show you how to actually measure with the digital caliper. Okay, we're over by the machine now and I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can measure with your caliper. Now, you may find something that works better for you and that's okay. I'm just showing you how I've used it and I've gotten pretty good results with it. First way that I've measured is I will use the inside measurement and I'll measure from right under here to the nut. This way that I'm going to show you now is not my favorite way, but it will work. So you take your caliper 
and you just set it down like this, lock the nut, and then you would take your reading. Okay, so I'm getting 2.251 inches here. Now the second way that I've measured, which I like a little better, is I will measure right from this part right here on the cam to the bottom. I'm going to place my caliper at the bottom and right to that edge part on the cam right there. And then I'll lock my screw. And I take my reading and now I get 1.835 inches. So I could go ahead and record that number right now for the sock yarn that I'm about to use. Now the next way that I'm about to show you is probably my favorite way to measure. And what I'm going to be doing is using the depth micrometer. And I'm going to be measuring from the top of the cylinder down to a mark that I've placed right here on the cam. If you do it this way, it is important to put a mark that you always measure to because this here is slanted. So if you measure from here to here one time, and then from here to here the next time, you will get a different measurement. So place a mark on your cam for this one. So what I'm going to do is set the edge of the caliper on the cylinder here, and I'm going to have the depth micrometer come out to measure down to the spot that I marked here. So I'm setting the edge, and I'm pushing until that depth micrometer comes out. You don't want to push too hard because there's some play in that cam. So you don't want to get a false reading by moving that cam when you push down. And then when I look at my reading, I get a reading of 1.131 inches. Now that I've given you a couple of different options over at the machine on how you can measure your tension, I'd like to show you another benefit of having this tool. I have pulled this out until it measures one inch. And I have a sock here that I made earlier. And I'm going to show you now that I can use this tool to measure my stitches per inch and my rows per inch. So I'm out here at one inch. I prefer to use this side where I'm taking an internal measurement. So I'm just going to turn it around. I line it up with my stitches. And then I can simply count how many stitches I've knit in an inch. And then I can turn it this way and I can count how many rows I have knit per inch. What I like to do is when I have a favorite sock yarn, I'll go and I'll make a swatch. I'll get the tension to be exactly where I want it to be. I take my measurements for my tension on the machine. I record that measurement and then I say how many stitches per inch it gave me. Then when I switch to another yarn and I want to go back to that yarn that I used previously, I know exactly where to set that cam so that I get the same exact result that I got on this sock here or on whatever particular yarn I want to use. So I find this to be a really, really helpful tool and um, I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that um, you've enjoyed watching the video. So go ahead, make some great socks.